from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2018. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Okay, hey, welcome back everyone. We're here live in Las Vegas for VMworld 2018 coverage. It's the final analysis, the final interview of a three days, 94 interviews, two CUBE sets, amazing production. Um, our ninth year covering VMworld. We've seen the evolution, we've seen the trials and tribulations of VMware and its ecosystem. And as it moves into the modern era, the dynamics are changing. We heard quotes like, from playing tennis to playing soccer, it's a lot of complicated things. The cloud's certainly a big part of it. I'm John Furrier, your host. Stu Miniman couldn't be here for the wrap. He had an appointment. And we have Dave Vellante and Jim Kobielius, who's with Boogie Bond and, and Silicon Angle on the CUBE team. Guys, great job. I want to say thanks to you guys and thanks to the crew on both sets. Amazing production. Um, we're just going to have some fun here. We've analyzed this event um, 10 different ways from Sunday. <laughs> so. so many people working so hard for such a steady clip as we have here the last three days. Just to Amazing. give us some perspective, I want to get, I want to get um, some, just lay out kind of what's going on with theCUBE. I got a lot of people come up and ask me, hey, what's going on? You guys are amazing. It's gotten so much bigger. There's two sets, but every year, Dave, we always try to, at VMworld, make VMworld our show to up our value. We always love to innovate, but we got a business to run. We have no outside finance. We have a great set of partners. I'm proud of the team, what Jeff Frick did, and the team has done amazing work. Sonia's here, the whole analyst team's here, the whole team's here, but we have an orchestrated system now. We have the blogging at siliconangle.com and Rob Hofe leading the editorial. Working on a content immersion program. Jim, you were involved in with Rob and Peter and the team. Bringing content on the written word side as fast as possible, the best quality as fast as possible. The analysts getting the pre-briefings and the NDAs. The CUBE team setting it up. Pretty unique formula at full stride right now, only going to get better. New photography, better pictures, better <laughs> video, better yeah. guests, more content. Now with the Video Clipper tool in our Video Cloud service, and we did a tech preview of our blockchain token economics to allow the insiders at VMworld, the senior executives, and the community, all with great results. They all loved it, they want to do more. Opening up our platform, opening up the content's been a big success, and I want to thank you guys yeah, for that. Yeah, and I agree. I should point out that one of the things we have that, say, an agency doesn't offer, I used to be with a large, multinational solution provider doing kind of similar work but in a thought leadership marketing context. Let me just state something here. Um, what, what we've got is unique because we have analysts, market researchers who know this stuff at the core of our business model, including especially the content immersion program. Peter Burris did a bit, I did a fair amount on this one. You need subject matter experts to curate and really define the themes that the entire editorial team, and I'm including the CUBE people on the editorial team, are basically, so we're all aligned around, we know what the industry is all about, the context, the vendor, and somebody's just curating, making sure that the subject matter is on target. This is what the yeah. community wants to see. So, so I got to say, so first of all, VMware set us up with two stages here, two sets, amazing. They've been unbelievable partners. They've really, they really put their money where their mouth is. They, they allow us to bring in the ecosystem do our own thing, so it, that's, that's, that's phenomenal. And our goal is to give back to the community. So uh, we, had, we had two sets, 94 guests this week, 70 interview segments, hundreds and hundreds of assets coming out, all free. It was Sil amazing. SiliconAngle.com, Wikibon.com, thecube.net, all free content was really incredible. It's good and, free and content. You're saying, it's up front, we, we, we dropped the True Private Cloud Report with market shares that's all open and free. Floyer did a piece on VMware hybrid cloud strategy, near to momentum, icebergs ahead. Jim Kabilis, first of all, every day here, you, you laid out, here's what happened today with your analysis, plus you had previews, plus you have a trip report coming. Plus they had a Wikibon research note that had been in the pipeline for about a month, and I held off and publishing until Monday at the show, the AI Ready IT Infrastructure, because it's so aligned with what's going and on. And then Paul Gillen and Rob Hof did a series and their team on the future of the data center. Uh, Paul Gillen, the walls are tumbling down. I mean, that thing got amazing play. Check that out, it's just a lot of detail And, and, and in there. more importantly, it's, that's our content. We're linking, we're open, we're linking to other people's content. You know, from Tech Field Day, what Peter uh, Foskett's doing, to V Brown Bag, to linking to stories, sharing, quoting other analysts, Patrick Moorhead, for more insights. Anyone who has content that has, we can get it in fast, in real time, out to the marketplace, is our mission, and, that, and we love doing it. So I think the formula of open, 
Yeah, Charles it's King working. this morning. I saw Charles. They, they Charles. thanked him for he had great yeah, quotes. And, great and he's like, I, I love when Paul Gillen calls me. John, talk about the tech preview, because the tech preview is an open community project. It's all about bringing the community together, helping them, and helping get content out into the marketplace. Well, our goal for this event was to um, use the VMworld to preview some of our innovations. And when it start, you're going to start to hear more from the, the SiliconANGLE Media Cube and SiliconANGLE team around concepts like the Cube Cloud. We have technology we're going to start to surface and bring out to the marketplace, and we want to make it free and open and make, allow people to use and share in what we do, and make the Cube a community brand and a community concept, and continue this mission, and treat the Cube like an upstream project. Let's all co-create together, because the downstream benefits in communities are significantly better when there's co-creation. And self-governance, highest quality content from highly reputable people, whether it's news, analysis, opinion, commentary, pontification, we'd love it all. <laughs> you know, let the content stand on its own, and let the benefits come down. So if you're a sponsor, if you're a thought leader, you're a newsmaker, you're an analyst, we love to do that and we love talking to the executives. So that's great. The tech preview is about showcasing how we want to create a new network. As communities are growing and changing, VMware's community is robust, Dave. It's its own subnet. But as the, the world grows and there's multiple clouds, Azure has a, a, a community, Google has a community, and people have been trained to sit in these silos. Okay, mm -hmm. and so we go to so many events and we engage with so many communities, we want to connect them all through the KubeCoin concept of blockchain where if someone's in a community, they can download the wallet and join the Cube network. Today, there's no mechanism to join the Cube network. You can go to cube.net and subscribe, you can go to YouTube, subscribe, you can get email marketing, but that's not acceptable to us. We yeah. want a, yeah. a subscribe button that's going to add value to people who contribute value, they can capture it. That was the tech preview, it's a blockchain-based community. We're calling it the Open Community Project. Wow. The Open Community Project is the first upstream content software model that's free to use, where if the community uses it, they can capture value that they create. It's new, it's concept, and it's re you know, radical and revolutionary. You know, in some ways we're analogous to what VMware has evolved into, where they bridge clouds, and they say that, we bridge clouds. We bridge communities all around thought leadership and you know, uh, you know to, to, to yeah. broker, and the, and the to, to provide a forum for conversations that bridge the various siloed communities. Well Jim, you and I talked about this. We've seen the movie in media. In the old school of media days, and search engine marketing and email marketing and starting a blog, which we were part of, the blogging was the first generation of sharing economy where you linked to other bloggers and shared your traffic because mm -hmm. you didn't want to, you, you were working together against the mainstream media. It's still my okay. major, major keyboard by the and way, then, and I, then I if, love blogs. And if, and if you were funded, you had to build an audience. <laughs> audience development, audience development. Not anymore, the audience is already there. They are now in networks. So the new ethos, like blogging, is joining networks and not making it an ownership lock-in walled garden. So the new ethos is not link sharing, community sharing, co-creation, and merging networks. This is something that we're seeing across all event communities, and content is the nutrients and the glue for those communities. You know, Multi-cloud, you got multi-content networks, you yeah. know, <laughs> bringing it together, it's exciting. I mean, there were some people that I saw this week, I mean, Alan Cohen is a guest uh, uh, host, amazingly articulate, super smart guy, plugged in to Silicon Valley. Christoph Bert Bertrand, analyst at ESG, great analysis today in theCUBE bring those guys, nominate them into the community yeah. for, the, for the open community project. You know what I like, Dave, was also um, Jeff, Frick, Sonia, and Gabe were all at the front there, greeting the guests. We had great speakers. It all worked. The stages worked, but it's for the community, by the community. This is the model, right? This is what we want to do, and it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of great interviews from Andy Besselstein, Michael Dell, Pat Gelsinger, to you know, practitioners, and to the vendors, the suppliers, all co-creating here in real time. It was really a lot of fun. Oh yes, amen. Well Dave, thanks for everything. Thanks for the crew, John. great job everybody. Awesome. Jim, well done. Awesome. Thank you. Two, Stu Miniman, Peter Burris, and all I guess Justin Warren, John Troyer, guest host Alan Cohen, great community participation. This is theCUBE signing off from Las Vegas. This is VMworld 2018, final analysis. Thanks for watching. And listen, do it. Yeah.